Rumble family. Bree Lynn and Chelsea here. Hi, everybody. On another episode of... Unbox the, the pink, pink box. Okay, the lineup this week, I am so excited for it. Me we too. have some fun flavors. Yes. yes. I'm really excited. Should we just dive right in? Yeah, let's dive right in. Let's get into it. I okay. can't wait. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, for our first cookie this week, we have our beloved honey bun cookie. That's right. Yeah. So beautiful. So we've stamped this cookie a little bit so that it gets that little bit of a swirl, like a sweet bun, and then it's got the glaze on top. Right, like and the glaze, glaze, yes, it's a honey butter glaze on top. Mm -hmm. And then what? what is the flavor of the actual cookie? It's like cinnamon and, and more honey. <gasps> We've Honey everywhere. Yeah, okay, I love a, this one. A honey lover's dream. Served warm, yes, as it should be. No yes. other way to do it. With your favorite beverage that goes in a mug. Yes, there we go. You know? Soy milk, regular milk, all the milks. Just there we go. Dunk it on in. Okay. Cheers. Here we go. I love how warm the cinnamon is. Mm -hmm. It's like a warm tasting cookie. Is mm -hmm. that weird to say? Does that make sense? No, it does. <clears throat> I would say those spices are very warming. Yes. Just really, this is a wintertime cookie for mm -hmm. sure, I would say. I mean, we love all our cookies all times of the mm -hmm. year, but right. this is for sure like right. cozy. And I like that the glaze isn't too thick. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. I love this one. I'm giving this one an eight. Ooh, I'm gonna do an eight and a half. Okay. Yeah, awesome. I think it's like you said, good. it's a good winter one. Very, mm -hmm. very warm, cozy. Yes. Okay, we ready for the next one? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Okay, for our next cookie, we have our loved original featuring M&M candies. Yes, and this is like a kid's favorite. Right. And if you're a kid at heart, I mean, come on now. Right. You can't go wrong with an M&M &M cookie. That's what I was gonna say. Who doesn't love M&Ms? When my kids are walking through the grocery store, they're like, I want that oh, M&M &M cookie. And I'm like, wait till it comes out. You're like, wait, Crumble has from, a better one. From Crumble, guys. It's Come on so now. good. And I love the colors. I mean, M&M's, yeah. they're colorful. I just think this is a very fun looking cookie. Yeah, it is so fun. So good. And it's, remind me, but it's an original base. Right, so like then, what our chocolate chip is. Yes, yes, yeah. but then with the M&M's in it rather than right. the chocolate chips. If you ever hear us talking about the original, that's what we're talking about. Is the, the is original, the original, base. Mm -hmm. the original chocolate chip base. Okay, hey, cheers. Ready? Yeah. Mm. I love that this one is served warm because mm -hmm. the M&Ms are nice and melted. Mm -hmm. And you get the crunch from the candy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a classic. It's loved, again, it's a classic. This Super. one's getting a 7.5 for me. Mm -hmm. But for an M&M cookie, it's incredible. I just like a little pizzazz. Yeah, yeah. I'm going with, I think I'm gonna say the same. 7.5. Yeah, a seven and a half. I think it's classic. I think your kids are gonna love it if they're super simple. Right. Okay. It's like cookie a classic M&M cookie, but yeah. revamped, crumble, yeah. crumble-fied, if you yes, will. Yes, okay. with that delicious original base. Yep. Okay, ready for the next one? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. okay, so for this next one, I'm very excited because it's a beloved, we've always had our peanut butter bar cookie. Yes. But this one's been re revamped quite yes, a bit. Yes, we revamped it because we were always trying to target those peanut butter bars that you get when you're in school. Mm -hmm. they, I think some people even call them lunch lady bars. Right. So it's oh, like an oat kind of chocolate chip type base. Right. Doesn't have chocolate chips in it, but it's just that like same brown sugar flavor. Right. And then that super fudge frosting. Like look top. at how thick that frosting fudge is. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. it looks so good. And like Chelsea said, the base, it's a peanut butter oatmeal base, yes. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, and in the past, this has been served warm, right. but with the revamp, it's actually a chilled cookie now. Yeah, we wanted to make it a chilled cookie for that experience. Yes. Similar to what you got when you were in school. Yes, so. okay, I can't wait. I haven't tried it revamped. And we all know I love the peanut butter chocolate combo. Oh, I love it. It's so good. It's one of my favorite combinations. And this well. one's thick. An ode to Gabe. Gabe loves the thick frosting. I know. We okay. love you, Gabe. Missing <laughs> you today. Not too much, though. Just right. a little bit. Well, okay. cheers. Let's go. I immediately love the texture. Mm -hmm. Like the oaty texture of the base, that mm -hmm. oat. Mm, I love it. That fudge frosting. It's one of our greatest. The flavors, I'm very surprised. They balance each other very, very well. Mm -hmm. When you first look at this thick frosting, you think mm -hmm. it might be overpowering, mm -hmm. but the peanut butter and oatmeal on the bottom really balance. Balances it out, yeah. So it is, wow. a really fr um, it is a really thick frosting that is very fudgy. However, with that base, like you say, it just really, it makes yes. like a nice experience. It's mm. like a good texture experience. This one's getting an 8.5 for me. Nice. Oh, I think I I'm going it. to do a nine for this because it's so craveable. I feel like it's something that I always want to reach for when it's nice and chilly in the fridge. Store it in the fridge when you get home if you're not immediately eating it because yum. 
So very, good. very good. Peanut butter lovers, this is a fantastic one. Absolutely. Okay, let's do the next one. Okay, so for our next flavor, this mm. one is also very loved, and this is one of my favorites. Yeah, it's super good. Chocolate cake featuring Heath. Yes, yes. I mean, even just look at this. We have a lot going on so with much. this cookie. Yeah. Chelsea, tell us a little bit about so, it. So the cookie itself is just our classic chocolate base. It is plain, it has nothing else in it, but we give it a little treatment by poking some holes in it, and we put a sweetened condensed milk glaze on top of it yes. that kind of sinks into the cookie, and then the Cool Whip on top, and then the heath on top of that. It's, yes. I mean, it's a dessert. And in with and of the itself. sweet and condensed milk, there's also some like caramel in it yes. as well, right? Yes. yes. So it's mm. uh, sweet and condensed milk and caramel, and it's right. very delicious. A lot and going on here. Chilled. That's what I was just going to say. This is yeah. a chilled cookie. Right. So we got to make sure we're keeping all those ingredients in there. There's yes. a lot of fun things going there's on. There's a lot with this. happening, and we were super generous on that heath on top mm. because you got to have that crunch. You Look know? at that. I mean, even just the layers here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm so excited yeah. for this one. Cheers. The the whip on top always catches mm -hmm. me off guard because it's never as thick as I think it's right. going to be. It's not a frosting, that's for sure. Right. Oh, I love this one. Mm -hmm. It's very rich and chocolatey. Uh -huh. It's gonna take you a second. Make sure you have some milk with this one. Yeah, this is a milk a milk cookie for sure. Because I can barely talk. <laughs> but I'm, man. It's a textural experience, lots of caramel flavors. That right. toffee flavor, super crunchy. Very messy. Um, You're gonna have- Messy, yeah, maybe. But in all the best ways. Maybe take it home and share it with your family and have a, have a fork in hand. Ready to this go with so the milk. Good. Yeah. This one's and this one's I'm giving a nine. Mm -hmm. For sure. I'm going to do a 9.75. Has yeah. anyone ever done? We've never done a three-fourths. I don't a even three know. Three fourths? Because our I'm, first three fourths cookie, perfection. folks. Okay. Right. We ready for our final one? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Okay, you guys, for our last cookie, we have a fun new flavor and new concept, mm -hmm. our cookie cup cookie. That's right. So we wanted to create a cookie specifically to receive our crumble cream. Yeah. So this is a semi-sweet chocolate chip cookie with semi-sweet chocolate chunks on top. Look at those chocolate chunks. Oh, and I'm so super excited. super melty, served warm, so that you can then scoop some ice cream on top. Yes. So be sure to check out our ice cream flavors. I love the vanilla bean with it, but any ice cream would go with it. Seriously, any of them, but the vanilla bean is just the classic. Yeah, it's just I the perfect vessel for the crumble yes. cream. Yes, so we're gonna try it together with mm. the crumble cream today. Chelsea, cut it. Let's try not to be too messy. Okay. But this is a messy cookie. It is. Especially if you put the ice cream on top. We're serving it in the cup, so you can put that ice cream right on <gasps> top. Like we're gonna do, I'm so excited. Oh, look at all that. See if I can scoop it out. There, there you we go. go. That's what I'm talking about. Look there at all that. you go. There we go. <laughs> perfect. Oh, we got a lot on there. That's, that's how great. it's done. That's, that's how it's done. That's how it should be. Hey, yeah, we so ready to try. Perfect marriage of crumble cream yes. and crumble cookies. And like Chelsea said, it is the semi sweet. So it's a fun little change up from our classic milk chocolate chip. We just wanted something to really hold up to that creamy ice cream. And you need that rich chocolate, I think, to do right. that. Right, right, right. It's a good balance. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. So good. It's a dessert. It's a full dessert. You're getting both here. If you get both of those, you get the crumble cream in the carrier. You know, you get a few flavors. Have right. a party. Mm -hmm. Bring this to your next, you know, dinner party, New Year's, whatever. Right. You oh. know? Like you said, I think it was a good call with the semi-sweet uh -huh. because it's balancing out that ice cream. Oh yeah. Having the ice cream with it is a must. Yes. I will say that much. It's so, Ooh. it's so, so good. It's like hey. melted all together, all the chocolate melting with the ice cream. It's so good. Hey, what are you giving it? Oh, it's a 10. 10. I'm giving it a 10 too. I know there's a lot of 10s this week, but it's a, it's a solid lineup. It's a slamming week. Yes, it is. <laughs> We've got something for peanut butter lovers, chocolate lovers. It is a great week. Mm -hmm. So you guys be sure to go and try all of the flavors, grab some crumble cream with it as well. And thank you for joining us on another episode of Unbox, Unbox the, the Pink, Pink Box. Box. Thanks you guys. See Have you a later. Good one. Bye.